CanSolar.com, providing free instructions and solar kits. Making the Box, Part 1. Here's a picture of the tools and supplies needed to complete Part 1, Making the Box. We start by taking one of our planks and measuring 46 and a half inches and making a mark. We then take a square and square this off. We do the same from the other end, measuring 46 and a half inches, make a mark, and square that off. We're then going to cut this, leaving the middle waste where the X is marked. Next, we'll take the boards we just cut and place them at the top and bottom of our panel. We'll also lay the side boards out and then fasten brackets to the top and bottom boards. Here's a close up of attaching the bracket. Putting two screws or three screws in each bracket to make sure it's secure. Here's the other side. Here's the bottom side. And the last corner attaching that bracket. Using a square, we're going to flip the side board up while holding the top board and inserting a screw into the bracket. The square ensures that the corner is true. We'll do the same for the opposite corner, the bottom corner. Making sure we have two screws in each bracket. Uh, once we get all the screws into place, we should have a frame that looks like this. Uh, we'll then lay our plywood on top. And get it nice and straight. And then put a screw in the corner. Put one in the middle. Put another screw in that corner. And repeat the pattern on the other side. So you should have a total of six screws holding the plywood to the frame. Next, place a workbench in the middle of the floor and then have a friend help you place your panel on top. Now backing the screw out like this and separating the plywood from the frame and then reattaching it keeping a finger width away so there's a one finger gap and you want to do this all the way down the panel so next you'll do the middle screw back it out make sure you can get one finger width in there and do, repeat on all the screws. Go all the way around the frame and do this. So here's the panel with a one finger width and gap all the way around it. And we're ready to add some caulking. Standard waterproof caulk, good for doors, windows, attics, and solar panels. Now we're going to place a bead of caulking all the way around the panel. Using the power drill, we'll screw the six screws down tight, and this smashes the caulking out. Wow. 
after we get all six of those screws down, now add a screw about every 10 inches around the panel. Here's a close-up shot of the spacing on the one end of the panel. Use a towel or rag to wipe excess caulking off the panel. It's not a good idea to do this over carpet, as we found out. Now have your buddy help you flip the panel over. Now we're going to measure 46 and a half inches uh, down the panel just to be sure that our panel is true. And this will be our first measurement for the foam. So here's a sheet of foam insulation. We're going to measure 46 and a half inches. We'll make a mark. We'll do this multiple times down that sheet of foam. Using a square, we'll connect the marks together to give us a line. Use a razor blade to cut down the line. Once the cut's complete, grab it in the middle, press down. Mm -hmm. It should break away like this. And then go ahead and run your blade down the opposite side to break that strip away for a nice cut. Now we're going to measure the length of the box and then mark that on the foam. Draw a line. We'll cut on the line. And do the same thing. Press down and cut on the other side of the face. Now we're going to dry fit and make sure that the insulation fits inside of the box. Here we can see we have a nice fit. We'll pull that out. If it was really tight, we might want to trim in some areas. Using that same standard waterproof caulking, we will spread it around. Okay, next we're going to put the insulation in. Get a buddy to help you take it off your workbench. And I have some heavy books here to place on top. This completes part one of building a solar panel. If you'd like to build your own, please check us out at cansolar.com and buy the kit.